now I am joined by one youth and very uh, talented from Hungarian and he is Tam Jomas. Thank you so much for joining me uh, to speak few words. Uh, first of all, very normal questions. First visit here in Assam, uh, how have you felt after reaching here? Um, it's, uh, so far, it's, uh, it's been very nice here. I, I mean, the weather is absolutely not much better um, as, uh, as we are in the winter. But um, it's, uh, this, uh, this establishment we are having here uh, for preserving culture, I really much uh, appreciate it. And uh, I think this, um, this community is doing a great, great work um, on, this, on this level. It's very important. We, um, we in Hungary, we also have a small community of, of like uh, 10 million people and, um, and working a lot on, on, on preserving the cultural values, just like, uh, just like uh, the Assamese. How do you, uh, will you, uh, would, you, uh, would you like to describe your social value, social culture, social structure of Hungary uh, at, at present time? A social structure, you mean? Uh, social value, social structure or, then, uh, or cultural value. Mm. In short, <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a very loaded question, but uh, I'll try to answer it. So, um, Hungary is pretty much um, an, um, a Western country um, now. Uh, it has gone through communism for uh, 40 years and uh, got free in uh, 1989. And uh, since uh, since the freedom, um, it's it's a transition. Like as I, as I can see, the, the older generation still have uh, some uh, some of the cultural characteristics that that the communism brought, which is which is not very not very good for for the enterprise, the the, the innovative spirit, and um, and and keeping uh, keeping the values alive. Because in, in communism, you they, they had to they had to suffer under the uh, oppression a lot. Uh, but now we are. Now, for the last 30 years, we've been uh, in charge of our own fate. So uh, I'm very optimistic about that. And, uh, lastly, as you have mentioned about communism, and uh, when you say communism, politics must be there. May I ask a question regarding politics? All over the world, if we uh, pay a look, we see the opportunism in politics. Uh, how do you describe your political arena of uh, Hungary? Well. Um, it's always always what the people want actually the politicians will always appeal to that so i'm I, I try to understand this from a deeper level, like how people think the philosophy of uh, of the general public really means more and is just represented in the politicians so in other words, people say that uh, we have the leaders we deserve we elect them. So they will be our leaders, and uh, so what, whichever way we think and we act, this is the that is the way our leaders will be as well. And if we don't like them, we change them. But uh, so it's basically our responsibility and mine as well, personally. So I I believe that. Uh, Do you believe that your politicians or your political systems are fulfilling the expectations of? Uh, uh, common people, because I have asked these questions in India, uh, though we are in, uh, I have to criticize my country uh, or political uh, field that opportunism has uh, failed every sector of development, something like that. So do you feel that your political systems has been able to uh, stand up uh, with the expectation of the uh, public who voted them to uh, that uh, throne? Uh, yes and no, because... Um, 50 50. Yeah, well, Yes and no, because um, people ask the government to do something like, okay, give me more uh, subsidies, give me more uh, um, pension. And then the government will give, but at the, at the other hand, the government has to take away, with the other hand, with more taxes. And uh, so it's, uh, nothing is free. Um, so, uh, and this is, if you understand this as a voter, as, a, as, as just a citizen, then, then you know that, uh, then you know the consequences of your actions. If you, ask, if you ask this and you want this of your government, you will have a cost on the other hand. And lastly, uh, would you like to share any lesson from your life, how a person um, can be successful in his life from your own experience? Any successful mantra? Success mantra? <laughs> Um, it's, I have um, one uh, one line from uh, from the Greek uh, from from the Greek temple uh, in like 2,500 years ago. It was said that uh, know yourself first, 
uh, in the uh, temple of Delphoi, and I think that that is the that is the key. If you if you understand your actions first, then you are um, conscious about um, where are you going and and why are you doing. This is why I think these cultural events and and the philosophy is is very important. Even if I'm a, an entrepreneur, I I still. Uh, spend a lot of time on uh, on studying philosophy and studying uh, studying human behavior. So that if if I would have just one line to say that that try to understand human behavior because it is is the most fundamental to anything that you do. And as you are accompanied by our one of our proud daughter, if you don't mind, uh, if you come uh, to us, uh, what do you want to say? She is a, she is from Assam. She is the land of Assam. So. Uh, she present the youth category of Assam. So how do you like to uh, categorize her talent or her doing or from that uh, probably you have taken uh, idea that oh, Assam's youth are like this? Well, uh, she's uh, first of all, she's very brave. She um, she applied and she came to Europe to study. She finished a PhD there. Uh, so it's it's been a lot of work for her and uh, and I think uh, I think this enterprising spirit is very important. As far as I can see in Hungary also, I try to en encourage everyone to go abroad, try themselves there, not only here, wherever uh, they are more comfortable, but try and, uh, and take the advantage of, uh, of travel. There is, it is available and you can study, you can work there for a few years and then you can grow yourself that way. Mr. You, uh, you believe that lots of oppor uh, learning opportunities are learning scope in Hungary for students? Yeah, there are. There are opportunities. Like the, the, she came with a scholarship program as well and anybody else can apply to that as well. So I, I believe uh, that um, all, even, even Hungarians, even Assamese, they should go abroad and try and then, uh, and then uh, come back and be successful here with the knowledge they gathered. And before leaving, I must uh, include one name of one person, uh, the uh, great Shankar Devo, about whom uh, this uh, program was organized actually. Uh, so what have you learned actually from our uh, book release functions? He was a great saint born in uh, uh, ago, 570 years ago. And uh, for him, the, uh, we are today, our society is today. Uh, how would you like to uh, keep few words about this uh, great uh, Shankar Devo? I'm I'm not uh, familiar in depth about his uh, his writing, but as far as I can see, is a is a polymath, and as far and um, most of the most of the philosophers of uh, of our time, our older ages, they were really interested in in figuring out how the world works and make it better. And, uh, and it was not limited to, okay, I will just be a dancer, I will just be a writer. But they really wanted to make everything better, whatever they saw, whatever opportunities they saw, they, they tried to try to make that better. So. For them or for him, society was above all. But uh, today, yeah. so I, I asked the one question uh, that uh, in every field, opportunism, opportunism is the only main and main point. But in the, those, mm. uh, in those days, they, uh, for them, Society was the main priority. That is the main uh, lesson actually uh, we, we have to learn. And for how many days you will be here in Assam actually? Uh, I will be here for a week, about mm, about a week, and maybe an eight or nine days, uh, something like that. Um, but what you said is very true, I think. Uh, I mean, um, I couldn't agree more on uh, the, the, the philosophy of, of life on, uh, on a level that you pursue values, who recognize values, is, uh, is, is very much in danger with opportunism. If you're just following your, uh, whatever, whatever you think your self-interest is, then, uh, then you will be mostly uh, not creating anything lasting. You will just uh, live, a, live a life that may be very comfortable for you, but uh, that's, then, then what, is the what is the worth of it? And uh, to conclude my uh, conversation, I must have to praise that uh, your answers, your thinking, your uh, studies have showed the picture of the uh, youth of uh, Hungary. So my great salute to all Hungarians through you, because uh, persons like you, probably all Hungarians uh, see like this uh, in your uh, country or something like that. So every person's uh, speech, every person's uh, what, uh, what she speaks, what he speaks, that means his uh, uh, culture, that shows his culture, that shows his society. And Tem Jonas, uh, what has said uh, in my uh, interview, that showed that all the people of Hungary is a civilized country, civilized persons. Thank you so much. My great namaskar to you. Thank you.